All right, what's up, everybody? This is going to be uh, take three, I guess I think it is now, of the uh, part two to my repair video here. Let's see if this was a success. I'm going to say yes. Yes, it was. Uh, because I have now driven for about two days and about a collective 30 or so miles. And uh, I'm going to shut the car off here. Let's see for sure. I hear anything. If there's anything going on. Because, of course, the water heats up a lot more. And, of course, the hissing that you hear right now is just the air conditioning. Um, depressurizing. But what I was looking for to be making any hissing or leaking or whatnot is right there. That heater hose connector. That underneath that piece of hose is a uh, Walmart Hyper Tough brand 3 8 3 8 drive deep well socket that uh, I took and slathered with some. JB Weld high heat epoxy and stuck back down in that intake. Um, to uh, fix the uh, broken off plastic piece that once was in its place. Um, anywho, that was the whole point of taking in another take on this video is that I rambled on for like 15 minutes almost first time and I'm not going to do that this time so yes the uh, repair was a success and if there is a updated uh, video or, or a uh, video update following this part two then uh, you'll know that it was no longer a success because I'm not going to uh, do an update if it holds uh, only if it busts because I don't want it to do the same thing to anybody else should they happen to try my um, tweaker ingenuity uh, uh, repair job here. Which, I don't know, I, let me not talk down about it, because, I mean, even though it does seem a little um, rinky-dink, it, uh, it has actually, it's actually helped pretty well um, to withstand my driving and the uh, temperatures that are uh, a result from that inside that engine. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very, uh, very satisfied with my work here and, um, I'm going to say that yes, it was a success and, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and recommend it to anybody else who happens to have a Ford 4.6 liter, doesn't matter what vehicle it's in, they're all the same thing. Um, and from, uh, well, pretty much every year, I think. They um, had the stupid plastic intake, and um, yeah, if you have that uh, rear heater hose connector break off, like I did, and uh, like so many people do, because I guess it's a very common thing, um, yeah, get you a 3 8 3 8 drive deep well socket, take and stick it, uh, stick the end of it, the uh, slim end of it, on a grinder for a uh, you know, a couple minutes and just slim it down a little bit if you can uh, it's more more even to uh, roughen it up so the epoxy has something to stick to a little better because uh, you know as you know sockets are very um, glossy very uh, smooth and uh, glues and epoxies don't stick very well to that but anyway yeah so it, it, it did in this case and um, then on the on the larger end on the on the uh, wider end the sockets you're going to want to wrap i used electric tape with um some of this jb weld high heat epoxy slathered in between each layer um but you could go with you know if you think and come up with something better than that um which i'm sure somebody can um because i just did it very quickly at the spur of the moment and that was what i came up with but it worked but yeah, if you could come up with something better than that, you know, then then use that. Really, the uh, the whole objective for the the electric tape part of it is just to make the socket um, wide enough to uh, 
fit snugly inside the heater hose um, because otherwise the, the socket itself is just a little bit too slim and the hose is very loose on it. Um, yeah, you could just tighten down a, a screw-on hose clamp and, and probably serve the same purpose, but you know, I went ahead and went with the electric tape and like I said, it's working. So um, yeah, if you uh, have this issue with any uh, Ford product, 4.6 liter V8, um, and have that rear heater hose connector break off, then uh, you can fix it for, let's see, I've got a whole, uh, I didn't pay for the socket. Um, so I've got a whole maybe, maybe $10 at the most uh, wrapped up in this uh, repair. And, you know, as opposed to, I'm not even sure, I never even checked on how much an intake was and it may not even be much, but you know, it's also more hassle than I feel like dealing with um, to uh, change it out. So um, yeah, if you're looking for easy and quick and inexpensive and you have this problem, Go ahead and try this or or you know like i said the the socket you know just serves the purpose of um going down in there and giving some stability to the line that it the hose needs to attach to you could use probably any type of metal or aluminum or whatever you know would fit in there appropriately i just happened to think about the socket you know and it just came to mind and that it would be you know the uh appropriate size and it was um so yeah um if uh if you have that problem it worked for me it'll probably work for you so like i said if you see a updated video in here to this video then you'll know that it in fact did not work um and i'll of course indicate how long it lasted for and all that good shit um but as of right now the repair was a success and um i definitely recommend it to anybody else that is in need of uh, cheap, easy, and fast repair. So until next time, until the next repair or whatever the hell other video I decide to come up with, because I will still be continuing on with some of my other uh, antics here eventually. Um, I've got some, you know, old videos that um, I never even published before, and I've got some, you know, some new videos that I have not yet published for certain reasons and. You know whatnot but yeah there's still there's still gonna be some stuff to come so just because my channel hasn't been popping and I haven't been uploading videos fear not for those uh, few of my subscribers that there are out there I I'm still here I'm still doing my thing and uh, and I will be bringing some more entertainment to you here in a uh, in a short so for now we're gonna we're gonna stick with the uh, positive and um, the uh, productive uh, type of videos for the time being um, and maybe throw in some little bullshit here and there you know whatever but yeah until next time <laughs>